A Stevens County woman served prison time for starving her adopted son to death. And now court documents reveal the family of an 86 year old man worried that the same woman was abusing him in the days before his death. Tyler DeLeon died on his seventh birthday in 2005 of severe dehydration. He weighed just 27 pounds. His adopted mother, Carolyn uh, Carol DeLeon, served less than three years in prison for criminal mistreatment. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you now in Katy with this new case. The man's family filed a protection order requiring her to stay away from their father. Nadine court documents show Robert Bland's family filed a protection order against De Leon after Bland himself expressed feel fearfulness and intimidation of her control over him. After Carol De Leon's 2007 sentencing, many believe seven-year-old Tyler De Leon never received justice for his cruel and drawn-out death. The evidence against De Leon proving criminal mistreatment of her adopted son was very strong, but with tear-stained cheeks, De Leon stood by her innocence. I'm so sorry that my little boy died, and I miss him terribly. Now the family of 86-year-old Robert Bland believes he is the latest victim of her abuse. In a protection petition filed against De Leon earlier this month, the family details the pair's tumultuous relationship. It started in 2013, shortly after Bland's wife of 67 years passed away. De Leon was his house cleaner. The family writes De Leon took advantage of his fragile emotional state, having him cut off all contact with his family and friends all for her benefit and led Bland to think she was his girlfriend. As time went on, the family says they noticed similarities they believe tie into De Leon's previous criminal conviction. She would attend his medical and legal appointments where the family alleges she would influence the opinion of Bland and the professionals involved. De Leon would bring Bland frozen dinners and goat's milk that made him throw up, but she would force him to consume them. Then, during his last days in hospice, the family says she got him out of bed to notarize a document. Bland's son wrote, We believe Carol de Leon is trying to speed up my father's death for personal and financial gain. The family asked for the protection order on February 3rd. Bland was dead six days later. De Leon has not been charged with a crime, but she did respond to allegations on Facebook saying in part she won't sit back and keep her mouth shut and that she's going to fight back. She did not respond to our request for an interview. Reporting in studio, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.